Today I'm bringing you a tragic story that has left many in deep sorrow. It's about the heartbreaking death of an 11-year-old girl in Zimbabwe and how a US diplomat's involvement has sparked outrage and anguish. On August 15, 2023, in the quiet neighborhood of Borodale, Harare, a young girl named Tadiwanashe Chigumbura was struck and killed in a hit-and-run accident. The driver? A US diplomat who fled the scene, leaving the community devastated and searching for answers. Initial reactions from the community were of shock and disbelief as they struggled to comprehend the tragedy that had just unfolded. Tadiwanashe, just 11 years old, was full of life and dreams. Her family and friends described her as a bright light in their lives, but that light was extinguished too soon, and the pain of her loss is unimaginable. Witnesses say that the diplomat showed no signs of stopping or helping after the accident. This blatant disregard for human life has ignited a wave of anger and grief, not just in Zimbabwe, but around the world. The U.S. Embassy has since confirmed the involvement of one of their diplomats, but they cited diplomatic immunity as the reason the individual cannot be prosecuted in Zimbabwe. This has only added fuel to the fire, as many feel justice is being denied. International law grants diplomats immunity to ensure their safety and independence in foreign countries. However, this incident brings into question where the line should be drawn. Is immunity more important than justice for a young girl whose life was cut short? Since the tragedy, there have been protests and calls for accountability. People are demanding that the U.S. government waive the diplomats' immunity to allow for a proper investigation and trial in Zimbabwe. Tadiwanash's family is devastated, struggling to cope with their loss while also fighting for justice. They're hoping that the international outcry will lead to some form of accountability. This incident is a stark reminder of the need for greater scrutiny and reform in diplomatic practices. Please subscribe and share the video to raise awareness. Stay safe and take care.